very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so just a kind uh, update about our signals group uh, this week so far we are really doing so well we have received many messages from the clients they are happy this guy he sent to Angela saying good start of the week Angela uh, this is the signal and uh, this guy here this is interesting actually because he said that he was able to make a lot of money uh, while he was just walking and literally walking to his car just making money from your signals uh, the interesting thing here is this guy have only $23 in his account and he's in $13 of profit I mean this is interesting this is really good for the beginners if they are afraid to lose their money and they are thinking to invest like a hundred or a thousand dollars they can start with a small amount like you know 20 or 30 dollars just to get used to the live account because moving to the live account is a completely different experience from using the demo account and thankfully in IC markets which uh, the same broker I'm using you can deposit any amount you want in your account you can deposit even ten dollars or even five dollars in your account and it will go through uh, you can actually open account in IC markets using the link in the description if you want and you can try it and believe me it is gonna be really the best uh, forex ex experience you are gonna ever get and even this guy he said yesterday to Angela good signals uh, today Angela thank you I just want to show you uh, from the premium group the profits we have made yesterday they are really impressive in my opinion we made more than 200 pips of profit only yesterday only leave uh, Monday alone so 60 plus 30 90 50 130 and this one 190 profits of uh, pips of profit this is only for these uh, few signals uh, there are there was of course more signals uh, that almost hit the profit and we didn't mention it so all in all it was more than 200 pips, pips of profit so it was a good day hopefully it's gonna continue like that and in the end if you wish to join the premium group don't hesitate to contact Angela you can find her contact details in the, in the description below this video contact her today and hopefully we will see you there so going now to the weekly analysis and let's follow it up uh, I sent the signal that we can start buying the euro USD on this level and we can see that the ra the price was ranging right on this support for quite a long time I mean when we are following this channel here this downtrend this level here had the most of the uh, ranging uh, level the, the price was here on consolidation mode however in the end unfortunately the price gave up and just continued falling down and therefore uh, if we look at the daily candles let's just uh, zoom out like that we can see on the left that we had here what is that we can see on the left that we had here a resistance level and the price right now is coming below this level of the resistance therefore in my opinion uh, the euro USD actually might continue falling more down I don't think anymore that it can go up at this point and we can expect this resistance to keep its position as a resistance once the price is gonna go up here and retest it so the best thing you can do right now is just don't do anything with the euro USD just wait for the right moment until it reach this resistance level and then from that point we're gonna short the euro USD now in my opinion after this break out from the support here I'm expecting for the euro USD to actually continue falling all the way to this uh, support level right here so we can expect for it to fall for more than almost 87 pips uh, below this level until it hit this support level here so going now to the four hour chart we can expect to again short the euro USD actually the retest has already happened as you can see here my friends this is the level of the broken support and this candle right here is the one that has retested this level already so our best shot actually gonna be when the price go up again to create a resistance number two let me tell you something to be honest with you personally I really hate uh, trading such trend like that I like w to see the chart having some wicks here and there some support and resistance level but when the price is just falling down and more down there is actually no attempts that you can rely on there is no weeks no there is no much price action and you cannot rely on anything actually this fall is based on the news if I'm not mistaken it's about the coronavirus thing and therefore I really personally hate uh, entering such uh, market again 
uh, let me just erase these uh, signals from the last week and let me just uh, clear for you that we can start sell the euro usd on the level 1.08243 hopefully we are gonna make some good profit and recover from the losses made from the signal of the euro usd let's check right now the pound the pound usd actually is going well and if i'm not mistaken uh one second the signal was active and it's now in profit if i'm not, if I'm not mistaken let's just go to see the four hour chart so the signal from the last week was to the buy for the pound usd on the level 1.30008 and this is the level 1.3008 so almost almost here almost here okay that's fine uh, we can see that the price was actually in profit and the trade has went in almost 50 pips of profit after being in 20 pips of uh, loss or maybe 25 pips of loss it went up again and have been in 50 pips of profit reversed on this resistance and then went back i still the pound usd is going up i believe that it's going down to create another attempt of this support level and then from that point it's going to continue its bullish momentum and the pound usd in my opinion is going to continue rising all the way up uh, until hitting this previous resistance right here because if we draw a channel here i think the trend line here uh, i don't think the pound usd is gonna break out from this uh, channel here therefore the signal for the, te the tech profit level is being given right on this resistance right here just to be sure and again the pound usd signal is still active because we are facing a really strong support zone right here and the pair doesn't seem to be able to break out of it if you have placed your buy order right on the support level i th suggest you to keep it running because uh, so far everything is going well and i think the pound usd is gonna continue the rise let's check right now the aud usd AUD, AUD USD signal is going really so well I mentioned that we can start selling the AUD USD right away immediately and that is exactly what happened the pair just started falling down at the opening on Monday so everything is going so well uh, the signal has went so in total of almost 42 43 pips of profit and right now we can see the pullback and the pair seems uh, reversing right now it is on 20 pips total of profit however uh, I still don't think the AUD USD is gonna actually break out from this uh, sorry I don't think it's gonna reverse from this support especially seeing this price action here uh, sorry this price action here this one is indicating a continuation in the trend and therefore I believe that the pair the AUD USD is actually gonna continue falling more down the question is where should we start shorting again now if you have already opened your short position here on Monday opening I suggest you to keep it running and I can expect for the next time where we can actually start shorting is gonna be let me just tell you if you want to short the AUD USD again this is gonna be actually the best level here because as you can see we are having here the first of all uh, this bearish breakout candle from the support and we can see that here we have a resistance and it was also a resistance right here so shorting again on this level is gonna be actually a good idea let me just uh, clear it for you uh, we can start short again the AUD USD on the level 0 point, uh, 0 0.6707 and again if you already have your sell order opened i suggest you to keep it running so far everything going uh, uh, well in profit let's check right now the usd gpy the usd gpy signal for the sell was given on this level if i'm not mistaken and we can see that it was going well in profit let me see how many how many pips it went for almost 21 pips of profit then again it bounced right on the support level and it's going up i still think usd gpy is gonna fall uh, going to the daily candles i think the usd gpy is gonna fall after hitting this resistance as you can see we are having here 
uh, a previous support and a resistance not to mention this of course we are having here a resistance number one and right here the pair is uh, creating a resistance number two not only that of course going back to the four hour chart we can see that the price action here indicating uh, a strength in the bearish momentum this is actually let me just tell you something here this is actually one of the signs you can rely uh, on and you can tell if the uh, if the bearish momentum is stronger than the bullish one we can see that this rise here the rise from this level here of the support to this resistance it took the market how many days to reach this level from this support here to this resistance here it took the market eight candles you are talking about almost two days just to reach this level of the resistance then in just half day only in just two candles the market went down and uh, it went back to the start point i mean that is what it indicates for you that what the effort that has been taken or the effort has been made with all these candles right here has been broken out by just two candles or has been outperformed by two candles or candles only that is actually indicating a strength in the pressure of the sellers so the bearish here is uh, controlling and therefore i believe the usdgpy is going to continue its bearish momentum and going to continue falling more down so so far uh, who got those who have entered the signal for the sell on the usdgpy are running in 17 pips of loss i believe it is now right time to start shorting again the usdgpy this is the level of the resistance here it is on, on the peak or the top of the resistance level therefore yes that is actually better time to start shorting the usdgpy and it's gonna go all the way hopefully it's gonna keep going all the way down until it hit this previous support level right here right here so hopefully if you short the usdgpy and hopefully if my analysis is correct we can look for almost 67 68 pips of profit let's check the usd cad now the usd cad signal um, one second i think i have drawn the line where to start buying the usd i think if i'm not mistaken it was somewhere here uh, i think it was here i remember because i was actually pissed off because the usd cad reversed just few pips before hitting the actual entry point uh, anyway i don't know if i'm allowed to take the, the the credit for this one because the pair reversed really literally just five pips before hitting the entry point maybe i'm not allowed to anyway uh, let's see the usd cad is going so far or actually it went on almost 50 pips of profit right now it's making a pullback it's reversing so the usd cad signal for the buy is still active and if we look at the left we can see that the pair is actually facing a strong support zone right here is it, this is the level where we are on right now so therefore uh, currently the price is on the support here which was a previous resistance let me just show you i don't think we can rise the line, line up here uh, this level right here i'm talking about this level exactly here so this level right now which uh, the price is right on right now we can see it was here a strong support and right here as well so this support here is going to keep its position as a support and therefore the usd cat signal for the buy is still active and the pair is going to hopefully continue rising all the way up until it hit this previous resistance it's just uh, making the pullback right now and I believe until Friday is going to continue the rising for almost 78 pips of profit. Hopefully we are going to get them all. Let's check now the USD CHF. The USD CHF signal was given for the buy on the level 0 0.97857. We can see that the pair has reversed almost 10 pips before reaching this entry point. Now uh the usdchf is having really strong bullish momentum and i believe it's gonna continue rising all the way up until it hit this previous resistance right here i believe that was gonna be the best point to start shorting the usdchf however 
uh, as I said, the signal for the buy for the USDCHF was given right on this resistance here, on this previous resistance. Uh, let me just fix it like that. Yeah, 10 pips away. Correct. Okay. So this was the level given to start buying the USDCHF. However, we need to look now for the next level where we can start actually again buying the USDCHF. And if I'm not mistaken, let me just look closer. Uh, that is going to be actually better level to, to again continue buying the USDCHF. I believe it's going to continue rising more up. I'm just hoping for another attempt of uh, the support here. If the pair is going to reverse, if we're lucky enough to, to get a better entry level. I mean, we can start, of course, buying the USDCHF right away. However, I don't recommend that because most likely you are going to be in loss. Uh, because right now we are facing here a resistance level and we can see the pair is right on this level right now and therefore I actually don't recommend entering the buy right away you will actually lose a few pips before be finally in profit I'm expecting for the USDCHF to reverse on this resistance going down all the way to this support level and then we can start again buying the USDCHF in case we missed it and keep the thread running until it hit this previous resistance right here so uh, our best shot actually let me just uh, be more safe hopefully like that that's better so we will not miss uh, the signal and we can it's okay to, f to lose a few pips only like five or ten pips only that's totally fine so we can start again by the UCCHF on the level 0 0.98182 let me just get rid of the old one so hopefully we can catch any pullbacks from the USDCHF and keep the thread running for almost um, 50 pips. Hopefully we're going to be in profit and we are going to get them all. Let's check now the gold. The gold signal was given for the buy on this level 1574. However, the price just continued rising more uh, like I th if I'm not mistaken. 20 pips before reaching the entry point and it just went up all the way reaching this resistance level and you can see actually I have entered a couple of trades here for buying the gold I made 27 pips uh, profit from the first trade and 60 or, or oh yeah, almost 60 pips uh, profit from the next trade as well so it was a good week so far uh, buying the gold however uh, let's now see where we can start or what we can do next with the gold the gold seems like it's going to continue rising more up i don't think it's going to reverse before reaching the top of the peak of this uh, candle here i believe it's going to continue rising all the way up until it hit this uh, wick here and then from that point it's going to be good maybe to start shorting again the gold just to make some pullback to make some pips from the pullback so therefore uh, buying the gold right away might not be a good idea because you are on the very top of the resistance and I cannot recommend that to be honest with you I personally hate buying at the resistance therefore uh, our best shot is gonna be if the gold is gonna make a small fall here to retest this breaking resistance this broken resistance sorry uh, at that point it's gonna be better idea to start again buying the gold and keep the thread running all the way until the pair hit the stop of this week here so let me just change the signal and the gold is gonna be good for the buy in case you missed the signal uh, on the level one uh, one five one thousand five 1592.70 that's actually gonna be better level to start buying again the gold so this week is going uh, very well so far Again, I'm really proud and happy about the performance of our premium signals group. We are doing our best and thankfully we are making everyone happy in that group so far. Hopefully, really hopefully every week will be the same. So in the end, I just really hope this week is going to be profitable for everyone. And in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.